I guess we'll start here. Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be doing a week 16 update for Terran Ascension. This is the game that we've been working on for the last couple of months. So let's take a look. Terran Ascension is going to be a... Um, there we go. Terran Ascension is going to be a, a space RPG. We've been working on the storylines recently and putting the quest system in. Um, I hope this is all coming through good. We're hoping to do some regular updates from now on. Um, so I'm going to take you through a couple of the things in the game, which we we can show off. It's very much a work in progress. Um, it's only four months old, um, but we're proud of what we've achieved, so we want to share it. Uh, we're up on Steam Greenlight for uh, voting, but like I say, we're a very, very young game. So uh, let's take a look. Okay, so currently we've got options so I'm just going to go for new game at the moment here's earth um, every map in the game there's going to be a starting scenario but at the moment we just start at earth so obviously you've got the sun over there and earth down there but you already knew that and uh, if we fly past this station here this would be the uh, where all the rich people live so if you go in there, you can refit the ship, um, you can buy fuel, exchange combat points, that kind of thing. And if we're going to just carry on past the station, we can go down to the uh, low orbit area, and that's where the orbital elevator will be. The quests will all be picked up from these main stations. Some of the planets still need to have their high-res textures put in, but it all scales. I mean, if I come in and have a look at the options here, then we can just turn it all up. I usually test stuff on a laptop, so that'll do. Okay, so the orbital elevators are where we can collect passengers. So you need to take passengers around the solar system for profit. So, if I just fly over to this orbital elevator, I can show you what I mean. Um, Earth is a bad example, because <laughs> there's no factories here, but the player can actually craft items from mining ore. So, if you mine up um, some asteroids, you can take them to an ore exchange, and then using those materials, you can then go to the factories or the science labs and construct the next tier up in items. And then those will be used for upgrading ships. Oh yeah, we've got strafe now. I forgot to forgot to mention that. Um, right, so here's the space elevator. You can hear people, I hope. And uh, if I push F, the artwork is still inbound. Um, at the moment, we're testing the systems themselves, so a lot of the artwork is going to get changed. But at the moment, like I say, I could pick up a load of scientists. So I'm going to fill up on scientists, and as you can see, I can't get any more. And uh, it's half now, and half on delivery. So now I've got to go take these 288. Is it 288? Yeah, or zero? That's a zero. Reconsider that font, I think maybe. So now hit N. This is going to be overhauled as well. You won't have access to every planet straight from the start. It's going to be unlocked as you progress through the game. Uh, but you'll be able to access definitely the ones neighbouring Earth from the very beginning. Um, so let's go to Venus and deliver those scientists. I'm pretty sure that Venus wants scientists. Uh, J to jump. Right, now this is the uh, fold-in point bit like a runway in space so there's an, a strip of space before the orbital Lagrange point I think is what they're called and that's where the main station is so this is ahead of that and just so you know at the moment this is where the black market trader sits so if we go up to this guy and push F we've got all of the illegal items now of course you don't want to get caught by the police with these because it'll be a big fine and then you go to prison which can be game over if you've got no money. So we're just going to carry on. Uh, 
W resets the turret because the turret can get a little bit silly at times. It does track all the way around just fine. But sometimes you can uh, trick it and break it. So I'm still working on it. Right, so this would be the main station. So if I fly over here, I've got main station. Do it. Go fly sideways past this guy. So that was the first trade station that we had. Yeah. Let's keep going. Obviously you need to deliver to the orbital elevators. Look at that. Ooh. A high res. Photoshopped from lots of, lots of satellite information. You can see where they've joined up. But anyway. Right. So we've got the science labs over here. But they're brand new. So let's just go deliver these passengers first. There's a number of ships in the game that you can buy, um, but I'll show you the shipyards in just a sec. Of course, I haven't got enough money to actually buy them at the moment, but, you know. Oh, here we are. Brakes. Okay, so let's deliver those scientists. And I've made a thousand credits from doing that run. Definitely enough to keep myself in fuel and repair the ship. Uh, every time you jump, you actually lose a point of health. Um, if I push I, it'll show me the legal market, the price, which does vary from planet to planet, and what can be bought and sold. So I can buy nanotubes, ceramics, polymers, and medicines from the main station, and I can sell... Um, water, carbon, silicates, metals, rare metals. So, if I have a look over here, the science lab will actually produce... Yeah, if I fly over to the science lab, this will be fun. We've just literally put the factories into the game, so they still need testing. So this will be fun. Uh, and yeah, yeah, the science lab. Okay, interact. So, if I had... <laughs> If I had metal and carbon, I could have made some nanotubes. But, as you can see, metals, zero. Uh, carbon, zero. I haven't got anything. So, generally speaking, you can't buy stuff that you'll be producing in the same planet. There are trade routes and so on. Um, so there it is. There's that planet. Right, so, let's go to the next planet. I think Mars is probably a good shout. <laughs> so, in essence, it's a trading game where you make a profit by buying and selling items at different planets. Um, so, I think I've gotten rid of... Yeah, we won't buy anything here. Let's just go to the shipyard. <laughs> Uh, different ships have different speeds, cargo limits, and boost speeds. Um, we haven't seen any, any enemies or pirates yet, because we haven't really had anything that they want to steal. The pirates come if you have val valuable cargo, and the police come if you have fines. At the moment, we've got zero fines, so, you know, they're not going to come for us. Oh, wait, here we go. Here's an example of a pirate. Let's see. There he is. Let's try and ghost him a bit. There he is. Has he seen me? He hasn't seen me. Let's see if we can get his attention. Hello. He doesn't seem to give a doesn't even give a damn about me. Well, let's blow him up. Anyway. So like I say, trading, refueling, and I've just got a point for killing that pirate. When you have 10 points, you can exchange them inside these stations. Um, and also NPCs will ask you to go into the pirates area, which is just full of pirates, and you can collect these points and hand them in for missions. Um, 
that's pretty much it. So here's the first example of a shipyard at this in this area. Uh, obviously, we've got another science station, an industry station, and then over here we got a shipyard. So if we just fly into the shipyard, and I can show you the shipyard menu. Mars is overpopulated in this uh, timeline. We've got a high-res light field coming for it. Okay, so here you can buy the shuttle, the moth, which is the ship I'm in now, the transporter, and the space limo. Certain ships will have abilities to upgrade, whereas others don't. Also, the, um, the speeds differ. And eventually we'll include that for other reasons. So I can't, you know, I can't say too much about it at this point. We've still got like a couple of weeks more of putting this sort of stuff in basics. But everything's been going well so far. So there's some cheat codes in the game as well, but we don't want to we don't want to tell anyone about them just yet. Um, obviously, you it will be obvious. You'll be able to tell. It's done by way of the name you choose at the beginning of the game. So. So we'll run over to Saturn and take a look at that real quick. Like I say, a lot of the stuff that we were working on the last few weeks has been the quest system itself. And that is going to be shown off over the next week or two. Um, there's also going to be high resolution planets, uh, textures coming. And a whole bunch of new ships which have just been retextured. So you put all that together. And, um, and then we'll have a starter scenario with a tutorial, which I'll be showing off probably next time we, can, we uh, show the game. So like I say, progression will unlock more ships. You'll be able to build a player station. <coughs> right. I think I pretty much showed off, you know, because I don't want to show too, I don't want to show the whole lot off because, you know, I want people to play the game. But um, there'll be a lot more reason to play the game once you've actually got a quest system in there because there'll be tasks and, uh, yeah. So, without driveling on. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, so if you want to stay up to date, we've got Terran Ascensions sh uh, dot com, which is the sort of dev blog, I guess, where we put a load of load of information about what we've actually added in, a lot more detail as well, and what I've tried to cover today. Uh, we've also got an IndieDB page, which we try to keep up to date. That's got some more recent stuff on there. Then there's also the uh, Steam Greenlight page, of course, which we've tried to link in as many places as possible. Um, also, we have the uh, official Twitter for Dom, so that'd be Dom runs that one. It's at Shogunate Games. Okay, uh, I put as many updates as I can up on Twitter, so that'd be at Mushroom Fleet. And then a lot of the previews go up on Instagram slash Mushroom Fleet. So that's pretty much where we're at there. Also, our G Plus for Shogunate Games is over at Mushroom Fleet's G Plus community. So that is the home of Shogunate Games. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks.